Okay, next we'll keep moving along. Smart document camera. If you have a smart document camera, then this is a useful tool to you. You can click on that and it will give you all kinds of options and you can try those out in a further video. But for now, we're going to skip over that because there aren't a lot of smart document cameras out there. Next, we have the table tool. Oh, sorry, I missed this one. This is the screen shade. If I click the screen shade, this gray screen shade appears over your work. You can drag it down so you can reveal things in your page. You can drag it from the top, from the side, or from the opposite side, or from the bottom. You can't, however, drag it from the top and the bottom at the same time and make it just skinny in the middle. And you can't drag it from this side and this side and make it skinny in the middle. You can only drag it from one direction. You can drag it from here and here. You can drag it from the top and the side or from this side and this side. Imagine it is a big gray square and you're just sort of sliding it whichever direction you want. Okay. To remove your screen shade, you can just simply click the red X. Next, we have the table tool, so we can click on that. And what size do you want your table to be? Draw it whichever size you want. Click and let go. And now you have a table. Um, you can always click on a cell and you'll get this little drop down arrow which will give you lots of other options. So I can split it into two columns. I could click on this one and I could split it into two rows. I can click on this one and I can insert a row. There's lots of options here, but to move a table, you have to grab the top square here to move it wherever you would like. Um, you can resize using this key right here. And you always have these options on the side, which we will talk about at a later date. Next, we have our math tools. So you've got a ruler that you can move. The rulers will go up and down if you click on this part right here or this part right here. If you click on the center, you can move the entire ruler. Caution, do not, you can extend your ruler this way. But do not resize your ruler or your numbers are no longer, this is no longer one centimeter if you have resized. If you accidentally resize, just click on your ruler, delete it, and grab a brand new ruler. And now you have one centimeter again. Okay? You also have a protractor. Again, you can move it here. You can resize it here by clicking and holding and moving you can turn it by clicking this outside circle. Okay, and line it up with whatever shape you have on the smart board. You have one of these, similar, play with it and try it out. And last of all, you have a compass. The compass will work, work like this. If you grab the pencil, you can make your circle. Uh, if you want to extend your arm, you can click and drag and then grab the pencil again and draw your next circle. If you want to change the pen color, you can go up to your smart board, pick up a different color, and you can change your pen color. Okay, experiment with that and see what you can do.